I was interviewed by the DOJ and the J6 Commission as a witness. The Republican nominee for Secretary of State, Mark Fincham, as you heard right there, revealing today he was interviewed by the Department of Justice and the House Committee investigating the January 6th Capitol riot. He made revelations himself during the one and only televised debate for the second highest ranking office in Arizona. Dennis is on this story and joins us from the newsroom now with more on what the candidates actually debated about. Well, uh, first of all, um, we should say that we have not independently verified Fincham's interviews with both the DOJ and the J6 committee investigating that Capitol riot. But as far as the debate is concerned, they did get to those issues. We expected this to be a fiery debate, and they delivered. Mark, if you don't want me interrupting you, then don't interrupt me. Well, then stop it. Thanks. He An example of the heated debate between the two candidates running for Secretary of State, Republican Mark Fincham and Democrat Adrian Fontes. You've called for the elimination of vote by mail. Are we not the two candidates sparred over the use of mail-in ballots, a popular method of voting in which over 80 percent of Arizona voters use. Fontes supports it. The question is mail-in voting. Do you want to get rid of mail-in voting? What I want doesn't matter. It, what it, I'm it telling does, you is that it does the, matter the, to your mindset and your judgment. Do you is, is mail-in voting a good thing for my Arizona? My mindset and and judgment doesn't matter in this regard. Fincham had been an outspoken supporter of the Stop the Steal movement that promoted baseless claims that the 2020 election was rigged. He also continues to question the election system here in Arizona but appears to be okay with the last election here that handed him the GOP nomination. Was the August midterm election fair? Were there any improprieties you saw? I have no idea. Fincham did attack Fontes' management of the 2020 election when he was the Maricopa County recorder. Fontes wanted to send mail-in ballots to all Democratic voters in the presidential preference election. The court ended up blocking him from doing it. I would encourage uh, election officials to do everything that they can uh, to help voters and to get as many American voices involved in our democracy as possible. And Fontes also defended that decision, saying it was made during the pandemic and that he was trying to do what he thought was best for the voters at the time. In the newsroom, Dennis Welch, Arizona's family. Dennis, thank you for that.